Welcome back. Um, I was asked to do this area also. Even though I wrote it down in the pattern. Um, it's really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And finish that off and just go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So basically, you have your three wires here. You cut the middle wire off. Just give it enough room to, to fold in. So you have that uh, cut off. And then, um, let's see if I can do it. I still have this wire attached after weaving the arm area or claw. This is the front, and this is the back. So you fold it in. And um, you do it from the tip. And the reason I say from the tip, because you're able to pop it in to get the, that little curve in there. And that keeps it from snagging the clothes. And then I just smash it in. And uh, this way, you rub your finger against it. And um, it won't snag on the clothes. Now, this area, we're going to do this right here. And go ahead and do this and just finish those off. I did the other video on this weave. I didn't complete it. But that weave is done, and what you want to do, that thread, the thread, <laughs> the wire, is in the bottom, and um, so you're gonna go under twice like that, and then you go under, wrap it twice, one. I'm getting cramps on my hands. Two. I think that's why I stick with beadwork a lot. My wire work is doing some numbers on my hands. Go back under. One. Two. How many did I do? So that's a, two of them so far. Go under, and do it, wrap it twice, two, under, one, two. You have to have a total of four of them. Okay, that's the third one. And this is the fourth one. One, two. So there's that, and then what you want to do is wrap it uh, 12 times around this wire. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you clip it off, squeeze your wire tight where it doesn't snag. 
I cut it enough where it kind of wraps over the top. Grab your finger and uh, if you smashed it down pretty good, it, it, uh, it shouldn't snag. Okay, and then uh, you get your wire. Let's see, I think I have a smaller piece somewhere in here. Yeah, I do. And you, you only need about two and a half feet to do both sides of your wire. So if you don't want to um, do it from the row. You cut about two and a half feet. Now on the bot on the okay, so the bottom one is the the bigger one, twelve wraps. Top one is nine wraps. So to start, you just put another piece of wire, um, and you wrap it nine times I have fat fingers that's three four five six seven eight I thought I had the silver wire um, I know you can notice the difference in color to find out that, <laughs> that I'm I grabbed the wrong one so it's uh, stainless steel that's and I'm just thinking it was a uh, half hard um, oops. Um, silver and it's the stainless steel Cut that tip off, tighten it, squeeze it too, so you don't get no snags. Oops, sorry about that guys. Just dropping the phone. I'm trying to work with the phone in front of me. I need to invest in a tripod just to keep using the camera. I don't know if I can squeeze this right. There we go. And cut this end off. Make sure you rub it too. for snags. Check for snags. You see my table stained up. Um, I've had this table 40 years and <laughs> it's been my kids grew up with this table as a dining table and craft table. Oh my gosh, it has teeth marks on it. Grandkids' teeth marks. They danced on it. We always, when we're going to eat, we do clear it up. Make sure there's no craft items or anything to show that we use it. But it's pretty stained and beat up. I've re finished it, I don't know how many times. I've haven't in about probably five years <laughs> now that I, I live alone everybody's out there on their own mm. some of the grandkids that used to live with me are on their own and making their grandbaby or uh, my great grandbabies now so this table has been through a lot 
I still feel snags. Okay, so what you want to do, um, just clip these off. Just leave a little bit. Uh, I say about that much. That's how much I left on the other. Enough to, you want to fold it in, basically, for snags and to hold the wire in place. On this other side, the same, about the same amount. Uh, let me cut. Basically, leave them the same length. The same length. Now, what you want to do for these don't catch on clothing or anything. Here, let me put these down for now. Get them out of the way. They are pokey. Get the tip. Always the tip. Don't grab it on the bottom. Try to get as close to the tip as you can. Use your needle nose. And fold in. And then squeeze it at the tip. You want to squeeze the tip area. Once you got that tip area squeezed, then you can go ahead and squeeze down the rest or just leave it like that. That that will keep it from snagging. But you get the tip. And then you can squeeze down. And this one, I think I cut it a little bit too short, but it's okay. I'll just try to cut them as uh, even as you can on both sides. I need to try to tuck that wire in. And you just rub it to make sure that you don't have no, uh, see I have this loose wire here. There we go. I just left it a little too long. There we go. Now this, there's going to be one deal um, that's going to keep this in place. Right now it's still wiggly. And that will be in the paper pattern. So now what you want to do with this... Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way and put this down. It's gently, just gently just gently fold it in. Hold up. I don't even know what to call them. The pinchers. I was calling that the pincher and it really isn't. I do know they use these to hold on when they're hunting. So they can, uh, the scorpions can bend that tail up and around while they're holding their food to stick them.
and you can use your um if you want to tight you can actually use these or flat nose and and pinch it down and it it uh, work hardens them or you can use your nylon pliers to work harden so there's so you fold that up and turn I want to twist this if it curls just twist it up because I would think you want the design of your weaving to show and you don't exactly have to use the weaving I use if you have another weaving I just use this one because it's pretty uniform whether you go uh, up or you're weaving it backwards like that it still comes out looking the same and that's why I'm using this weaving okay so right now that looks like frog toes so what you want to do uh, I just did a frog for my kiddo is uh yeah, this one's a little too long let me fix that you can gently um actually I think I can cut it off right here I left this part a little bit too long If you leave it too long on where you have to attach a new wire, that wire will unravel. So you've got to make sure it's going to, that it's not longer than it should be on these ends. Be careful you don't pinch your fingers when you're. And this is copper-based wire, stainless steel, or something. I don't. I don't remember. It's not my silver. Okay, so the longer piece, you can curl these up. Just, just give it a little. Um, the top one's um, the longer one. Once you just basically like a horseshoe, shape it like a horseshoe. So this wire on this side. Give it a few pinches and um, with your pliers or your with these or flat nose um, or nylon pliers and if you uh, squeeze them a few times it work hardens this area that way it doesn't uh, it gets hard just don't do it me I um this wrap here
you want to make sure that when you uh, do these wraps that um, when you tighten it that it kind of goes to the top not to the bottom but if you squeeze them tight rub your fingers you'll know because you'll you'll be able to fill it and then you can fix it but these shouldn't snag so you guys are almost done and you can refer back to the pattern um, I'm not gonna you can uh, if you want you can go ahead and just very gently give it that slight curve now if you're gonna do as a pendant you don't want to do it too much but if you're gonna put it on the floor and up like it's getting ready to steam you can do a little bit more this is how I do it for a pendant very slight curve and a lot of times when you're wrapping this it gives that that automatic curve anyway this wire here in the uh, we will be cutting it off um, if you want because they only have four legs so I'm gonna go ahead and and even though I'm gonna put it next on the on the pattern I'll go ahead and and this is what's gonna keep this from it helps and then of course when we finish this part it'll reinforce that and there's so you want to bring these make sure I get the right ones now so the top two bring them up give it a slight tuck if you have to with your pliers and um, bring those straight up and cut them off just enough to wrap them up. oops I don't know where that flew so you've got those now you want to wrap those within a wire in the in the bottom where it's not going to snag so you make sure um, it goes around the, a wire it doesn't matter which one as long as it's tucked in and this is I think the hardest part is tucking it in there we go Again, tucking in the second wire. Grab your finger. So we, a lot of people do them, and they like, what do we do? Um, they they make five legs on each side. I'm telling you, there's only four. If you do it right, there's only four. So before you continue to the pattern, make sure everything here is, uh, or you can, um, we're coming next on the pattern to this. So go ahead and continue to the pattern. Um, And if you want to make one smaller, even though this is good for a pendant, um, you can use um, <coughs> 22 gauge wire 
and 28 gauge wrap wire to wrap or 30 gauge and it'll actually make a smaller scorpion and just do it the same way okay we'll see you guys later thank you